Hello everyone, I hope you are all doing great. I received a comment of a subscriber requesting a tutorial on how to bring earnings per share EPS data to Excel. Therefore, I will explain how to simply retrieve earnings per share data of the constituents of the S&P 500 from Bloomberg through the spreadsheet builder in Excel. As you know, the earnings per share is the portion of a company's profit allocated to each share. It is only comparable with other companies if we also take the share price into consideration. So to get the data, you have to be logged into Bloomberg and installed the Bloomberg Excel add-in. Okay, to retrieve the data for all the S&P 500 constituents, we just go to Spreadsheet Builder, then we go to Blank Data Table, and here we can select our securities. We either can type specific companies and just use the Bloomberg ticker symbol, or we can also take all companies of a specific equity index. So we just go here into the equity index. And as you know, the SPX is the S&P 500 index with all the constituents here. And to add them to our selected securities list on the right, we just click add. And now we basically basically have all the 500 companies in here with the Bloomberg ticker with UN equity at the end, which is just the Bloomberg convention. Then we just click next. And now we can select the fields and in our case we want the earnings per share and here we don't want the Bloomberg estimate, we want the basic earnings per share and if we want to compare the earnings per share of all the constituents we also need the last price. So the last price just gives us the last price traded for these companies on the last day. And when we now have these two selected fields where we want data, we just go to next. And now here you actually see we have all the securities here, all the 500 constituents, and we have the field name earnings per share with the data here and also the last price in the next column. So we just click finish. And voila, here we already have our requested data. So for example, here for Apple, we have earnings per share of 5.67 and the share price closed yesterday at 151.28. And with this data, we can just basically calculate the price earnings ratio. So the PE ratio, then here we would just divide our price with the earnings per share. And with that, we can compare all the companies. So we have the price earnings ratio. So the price earnings ratio is just the market value per share divided by the earnings per share. And the other way around, we can also divide the earnings per share by the market value of the share, so the price. And this earnings yield would give us a rate of return of the investment. So we just divide the earnings per share with the last price. So with that we have all the data for the 500 constituents of the S&P 500. With this methodology you can basically also retrieve other data points from Bloomberg really simple through the spreadsheet builder. I hope this answered the question of the comment and I hope you all got some value out of it. Please subscribe for more content on how to use Bloomberg Thanks a lot and have a nice day.